Good afternoon to you. I'm Jeffrey Thames, King of Grief. It's Sound Awake, two hours of intelligent freeform pomp from the deepest oldies to the choices indie from 1 to 3 every Tuesday afternoon here on KPFT at 2 o'clock. We switch things up a bit and I bring you 60 minutes worth, well approximately anyway, of alternative dance favorites from the 80s and surrounding eras. It's called the Classic Club Hour. A lot of the bands that you hear on the Club Hour will be in town this week. Uh, starting tomorrow night, Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark with the original lineup playing the House of Blues. If you're an OMD fan, stick around. The second half of the club hour, it's going to be all OMD. They're going to ride the show out for us. We've also got Men Without Hats playing numbers this Sunday. And the night before, Mr. Peter Murphy for the first time in I'm not sure how long. It's going to be a great show. Not only do we have Mr. Murphy on the stage, but opening for him for the Houston gig. Houston's own Vertigo Blue. Mike Noss of the Vertigo Blue Project joins me in the studio today. I tried to get through that without tripping over my tongue, but we saw how successful that was. Mike, good to see you. It's been a while since you've been here uh, as a guest on Soundawake. Yeah, thank you for having me back. It's great to be back, definitely. Yeah, you've got some You've got some good news for us, something you've... Uh, I don't know if we've talked about it on the show before, but I know when I when I see you out at Retro... At Etro, God, I'm doing it again. I'm just excited you're here. Uh, you've been well, telling me you. you've been telling me about uh, the new record that you uh, you're working on, and that record is finally here. It is Evolution. That's the new album. Yeah, officially um, album number two. Yes, the follow up to uh, Area 51. Right. Tell us a little bit about the uh, the making. I guess it's been a, a few a, a few years in the works. I know there's been uh, uh, a lot. I guess a lot of uh, behind the scenes things that that I'm sure some of it channeled itself into the music. Absolutely. I started working on this album, uh, of course, just after I'd finished Area 51. And, um, see, that was before the hurricane. Then we had Hurricane Ike that hit Houston. And uh, it also uh, hit my uh, my wife and my, my myself. You know, we lost our home in that. And um, then there was an accident afterwards. So a lot of things that happened in the, in, in the, in the middle process between Area 51 and where I'm at now. And... Um, yeah, so it's been a long time in the works, and it was great to uh, finally get this thing finished. Um, over the last couple of years, I really spent um, a lot of time in the studio just working on, uh, of course, getting out these synthesizers up and running again and getting back on track, more or less. All right. So, here we are with Evolution. We're going to hear... I, one thing I did want to mention, you, uh, you've stepped up to the mic literally with this record. There are some of your, some of your own vocals... Right, right, yeah. This. Is that, was that a conscious decision to make it more of a vocal project? or? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, with Area 51, I think when I looked at that project, even before when I used to come here and, and that kind of thing, it was more based on uh, trying to find myself as how I was as an art, a solo artist. You know, in the past, Vertigo Blue, there was three of us years ago. Uh, Colin Travis, who helped me with this album, produced... Uh, he was one of the original members and uh, still behind the scenes a lot with this stuff. Yeah. Um, he collaborated on me with, the, with a song called Pretty. And, um, yeah, so I think with Area 51 it was more uh, of, of a take on trying to find myself going from the keyboardist part of being the keyboardist in the band and not the lead singer to, um, you know, Area 51. I brought some vocoded type, you know, vocals, that kind of thing, and vocal samples. Yeah. I, I think with uh, Evolution was where I wanted to be uh, in regards to where I wanted to go in the direction as a solo artist so i think also honestly it was a confidence thing uh you know where i used to be the keyboardist guy you know with rock bands and that kind of thing um you know taking to a point where i can you know front everything and i'm happy yeah. with the way it went it's it's the direction i wanted to go definitely and uh all the songs on this one are are right where it's uh i'm really pleased with the way it went we're going to hear it for ourselves right now. Mike Noss of Vertigo Blue is my guest today on the Classic Club Hour on Sound Awake. He will be opening for Peter Murphy this Saturday night over at Numbers, 300 Westheimer. The new album is called Evolution. You mentioned Pretty. I think that's the song we're going to hear. Yes, thank you. That's Yeah, that's the one I collaborated with Colin, and uh, he had laid some uh, guitar tracks on this one. Um, so it's the first introduction to guitar since Christmas Day from, like, 1996. And it's a long uh, time coming. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's good to, it's good to uh, bring it back. And guitar, so this is almost like your violator then. Oh, that'd be a... <laughs> I, I hope so. I hope that... Well, we'll, we'll, a, listen, to the, we'll listen to the, uh, the track and decide for ourselves. Uh, <laughs> okay. Vertigo Blue. We're going to hear some Peter Murphy, of course, in this mix right now. Opening for Peter Murphy this Saturday night at Numbers Vertigo Blue from the new album Evolution. This is called Pretty. It's the 
Classic Club Hour on Soundaway, KPFT Houston, 90.1 FM. Sound Awake, KPFT, 90.1 FM in Houston, 89.5 FM Galveston, KPFT.org on the web, 89.7 in Huntsville. Good afternoon to all of you. Glad that we're able to uh, come your way with the crispest of clarity. Weird Al Yankovic, in case it wasn't obvious, from 1984's In 3D, his breakout release, The Brady Bunch, which you'll recognize as a parody of The Safety Dance, the biggest hit here in the States, probably in the world for Men Without Hats. We went into their catalog kind of deep from 1984, the extended version of Where Do the Boys Go? Men Without Hats, on stage at Numbers Nightclub, Saturday night. I'm sorry, Sunday night. Saturday night's a completely different kettle of fish. Saturday night, Peter Murphy, the headliner. We, we dipped back into his days with Bauhaus because apparently his set list for this tour have been at least 50% Bauhaus or maybe at most so there's a chance you might hear Terror Couple Kill Colonel Saturday night that goes back to 1980s in the flat field from his biggest solo album still his best in my opinion the album Deep from 1990 we heard Shy that was preceded by the opening act for Mr. Murphy here in Houston on Saturday, Vertigo Blue from the new album Evolution Pretty, a collaboration between Mike Noss and Colin Travis, who also are responsible for the song we're hearing in the background now from the first proper Vertigo Blue album from a few years back, the album Area 51, Dance All Night. Mike Noss of Vertigo Blue here in the studio with me. Good afternoon. It's good to be back. Yes, it, it is. It's good to have you back. Once again, uh, the new album is Evolution, and we should mention Vertigo Blue Music TM. Yes, the new um, website, absolutely. www.vertigobluemusictm.com. Uh, that's the new website I launched, uh, I think, late last year, maybe early this year. Yeah, and it's it's up and running. It's got new, uh, present info and yeah, absolutely. It has uh, all the up upcoming shows and. Uh, different links to uh, where you can hear uh, my music as well as uh, music videos uh, and link over to YouTube and that kind of thing. Sweet. And of course you're also on Facebook. Yes. Like most of the known yes. universe. Just do a search for Vertigo Blue TM. Look or, for, look for Mike's Blue. yeah, look for Mike's scowling face on the... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta smile more often. People are gonna get the idea what a jovial <laughs> you know, friendly guy you are with the... Uh, <laughs> Make that make that part of the uh, I guess the the, the new uh, the, the new Vertigo Blue along with the the live vocals and big smile and cheesy face on it, right? Why not? <laughs> Anyhow, um, Mike will be opening for Peter Murphy Saturday night at Numbers Nightclub. Looking forward to that show. Men Without Hats Sunday night over at Numbers. There's another show coming to town. Oh, while we're on the subject of Facebook, I got to mention Facebook.com/slash Sound Awake Radio. S-O-U-N-D-A-W-A-K-E-R-A-D-I-O. -A -A -E That's where you get all the information about the show you're listening to. You can find a link for the Down Under the Sounds event page, get more information. I believe there's a link to uh, Mike's Vertigo Blue page. you got to do a little searching, but I'll refresh the links later on this afternoon. There's a band coming to House of Blues tomorrow night. I never thought this would happen. 
but they got together they all reconvened a few years ago did some uh, tours in the uk did at least one live album they have a brand new studio album and they are touring the states to promote it culminating in a houston appearance tomorrow night at the house of blues i'm so happy about this i still don't know if i'm going to the show or not but i'm still glad that they're here so the rest of the show is going to be devoted to them we're going to hear the title track from their new album it's an extended version the album history of modern to be followed by some classic tunes from andy mccluskey paul humphreys martin cooper and malcolm holmes the classic club hour now resumes with an approximate half hour of orchestral maneuvers in the dark this is kpft houston 90.1 fm 